by them. And I have with me here three little gentlemen from Embassy Education. Mark Mitriakov, Ruda Hasamnis and Arya Sutagar who will be sharing about their coding experience, aunties and uncles. We are aunties and uncles already. Yeah? And let's give them a warm welcome. So Mark, Rudra and Arya, you can uh, turn on your video, please. You, they are already here. Huh, hello. Little gentleman, let's wait for Mark. Is Mark here? Yes. Ah, can you turn on your video, Mark? Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> so, all right, I think um, let us start with um, Mark first. So, how are you this morning, Mark? Can you tell us a bit about yourself? I am not good this morning. Because <laughs> I woke up in six to start at seven. Ah, so you woke up very I early. I usually don't do that. I, I, I wake up at eight. Oh, you, wake, you usually wake up at eight. It's okay. Once in a while, it's, it's okay to wake up very early because when you wake up very early, you can do more stuff. But apart from that, Mark, uh, you're here today to share with us, right? Aunties and uncles about yes. um, your name, mm. your age, how long have you been learning about coding? Yes, and um, how can I share my screen? Yes, sure. Uncle uh, Faisal. <laughs> so uh, for the audience here, um, Mark is eight years old, right Mark? Yes. Yes, and you are going to show us about your right project. Can you see my screen? Yes. Wow. Hi, I'm eight and a <laughs> half years old and I was born in Malaysia. Uh, last year, my family went to Dubai and I started programming at six and a half years old. This is my journey from six and a half years old to seven years old. First, I started Scratch Junior. Scratch Junior is the most simple programming language. Scratch Junior, you don't need to read or write. You just need to grab and place the different colored blocks. Mm. Then I moved to Scratch. It's a bit more advanced. You can change color of the yeah you can do a lot of animations while somebody's walking in your project you can change this color scratch junior is a very interesting thing then i moved on to minecraft everybody knows that minecraft is a game but you can also build in minecraft like in like you're an architect ah my son plays minecraft too but he doesn't know how to code in Minecraft yet. I know. <laughs> now it's Roblox. Roblox is very advanced. You need to know how to code in Roblox to make your own game. Mm. It's also, Roblox is also a game. It's like a game with lots of mini games. You can create your own game and paste it in Roblox. Ah, you need coding too? Then I'm, yeah, you need real coding. I see. Okay. And then? And now it's 3D modeling. 3D modeling, you like thinking. You're thinking, thinking, thinking. Oh, I want to have a dragon toy. You have a 3D modeling and you just want a dragon. You 3D model it like with blocks. And then... You print it on a 3D printer. I see. You have a 3D printer? No. Have you tried? Oh, not no. yet. Oh, no. All no. right. So, what's your favorite coding no. language, Mark? Like My you've done Scratch, right now, Scratch Junior, Python's here. Hmm. I when we go a bit down. Mm -hmm. And then I started to do Python. 
Python mm. is very advanced. It's like real code. You like need 400 rows of script that I write just to make a, a one minute animation. Whoa, but you've done that. Yes. That's impressive. See the aunties and uncles here are saying you're very cool, Mark. We are. <laughs> now <laughs> I'm okay. still learning. I Eight see. and a half years old. Eight ah. Is that you in the picture? Yes. <laughs> I see. So you're learning it's... HTML now. No, I finished HTML. Ooh. Now I'm learning CSS. And my favorite language, how you asked, was HTML. I see. Your favorite language. And why am I learning coding? OK, why? Maybe I want to build a game. I don't know who I want to be when I grow up. Maybe I want to build a game. Maybe I want to build a cosmic ship. Maybe I want to make a sustainable future. Yeah, the game, I think I'll, if I'll build a game, I'll build a game cooler than Minecraft or <laughs> Fortnite. I look forward to that. Cooler than yeah. Minecraft. And Marcus Peterson, the creator of Minecraft, sold Minecraft to Microsoft for $2.5 billion. Well, that's a lot of money, right? Yeah. <laughs> you can contact you if you need to build a website. <laughs> we can hire yeah. you. Yeah, when, <laughs> when I'll become a pro creator of web websites, you contact me if you need one. Okay, everyone, please screenshot uh, this page, this screen <laughs> for us to, you know, recruit Mark. So, Mark, can you show us what um, that you're currently doing now? And now, look, this is going to be my HTML. This is my HTML site. I didn't quite finish uh, it. Last time I was showing you the uh, when there was like the picture of the um, code. Uh, over here, you could see this part and mm -hmm. this part. So that's why I changed the picture. See. Web development, Scratch, I quite didn't finish quite Scratch it and Python I did. So this, um, the website you did is your, you did this yourself? So you yes. use HTML for you this? Can, you can, yes, you can even write something like, <laughs> my name is um, HTML. My email is Mark down. Yeah, you know. And my question is. Yeah, something, 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 something. <laughs> awesome. And then you can press submit. And you go all the way up. Submit and you go all the way up. Awesome. Thank you very much, Mark. I think um, Mark deserves a round of applause, right? Members of the audience, aunties and uncles. So let's give a round of applause to Mark. You're doing great, Mark. I think you should keep up the good work. You have a very, um, you know, very look after, sought after skill. The, and we are here, we need more people like you, Mark, in the future for, you know, in Petro, even in Petronas, we need more people like you. So keep up the good work. And congratulations to Mark's parents, you know, for assisting your child towards uh, this coding journey for a better future for for us right so thank you very much mark i think uh aunties and uncles let's move on to the second junior coder uh rudra is rudra here can you hear me yes i can hear you rudra Okay, so hello everyone. Um, hello. Good morning to you and uh, hope everyone's doing well. My name is Rudra Samnis and I'm 11 and a half years old. 11 and a half? Yes. Okay, uh, Rudra. I'm currently living in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, uh, Kuala Lumpur Mount Kiara. I see. I'm in year six in Garden International School, Mount Kiara. I see. So how long have you learned coding and what's the languages that you've learned so far, Rudra? So I've been learning coding since I was seven, which is around, let's say, four, year, four years from now. Ooh, I first started off learning on this app called, a website called Code.org. Code.org mm -hmm. 
used is the one of the simplest languages and one of the most used languages in the world. That's called JavaScript. Now, Java. for Java, JavaScript, um, you just place the blocks in code.org and you can even like change the blocks, but you need to be advanced level for that. Um, Along with learning JavaScript, I also learned Scratch and Scratch Junior, which I felt relatively easier rather than JavaScript. Mm -hmm. And I've already mastered these languages for around two years now. Awesome. So uh, one and a half years ago, I I started learning code uh, Lua and Python. Lua for basically Roblox. Now, first I started learning Lua and Lua is relatively similar to Python in terms of coding languages and uh, sim and similar similarity mm -hmm. and difficulty. So for Lua, I used in Roblox. Now, at first I didn't know how to use it. And once I joined Embassy Education, I started to script on Lua and I've been also doing 3D modeling on Python too. Oh, so you make games in Roblox using coding? Yes. So can my son play the games that you made? Yeah, of course. <laughs> if yeah. Can... Oh, really? You should yeah. share with us later. Cause... Yeah, I'll, I'll send a link in chat. In ah, way. that's good. Because my son plays Roblox too, but he doesn't know how to code yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rudra, uh, so why do you love coding, Rudra? For coding, I feel like basically it unleashes my creative side. Mm. Now, imagine it's been a long day at school or work, university, wherever. Mm. Now it's like you just want to relax. And now for coding, like anything that comes in your imagination, thoughts, are ideas. You can just put it in one script together and you can just spend like one or two hours on it. And there you go. Whatever you have in your head is just there. So once okay. you basically master the basics of coding, you're pretty much off on your own and you can make whatever you like. Yeah. Ah, there you go, auntie and uncles. Listen to that. You can do whatever you like if you master coding. You can make oil and gas company also. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can make, <laughs> we can help Petronas also. So yeah, yes. like what uh, Inchi Ali Azman Omar said, passion is the key. Yes. So Rudra, can you share with us here uh, the project that you're currently doing? Yes, can I share screen? Can you share screen? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. OK. Can everyone see? Not yet. Uh, now, yes. OK, fine. OK, this looks interesting. What is this? <laughs> oh, this is just a, a shooter game I made. It's really similar. I'm, I'm just going to play it. Um, again, how old are you again just now? I'm <laughs> 11 and a half. <laughs> 11 and a half. OK, this, this is awesome, Rudra. Yeah, so basically like this game is basically you have to kill people <laughs> and like, you have to kill people and like it comes in your leader phone over here and you're supposed to like you're supposed to kill people more for like in-game money and with the in-game money you can buy like better guns or you can get like more more character skins and such as that. Ah, uh, so this is using, um, you said it's now Lua, right? The language? Yeah, this, this language is Lua. So basically, this this map I made here is part of a community project I did one year ago, where you're supposed to make a map for a game. No one really used it until now. I just found it in my like inventory here. Mm -hmm. So I added a bunch of borders with a kill script so that no one goes out. And here is the script for the gun. <laughs> now, Lua and Python, as I said, is really similar. And for a simple gun, you need 400 lines of code. Well, wow, so this takes you how many hours this now? 400 lines of code. Um, if you want to break your fingers, then you can do it in one hour, but I took five hours for this. So if you would do it at a finger breaking speed, one hour? <laughs> yes. If not, it, normal finger typing mode, uh, five hours. Yes, it takes it takes. I like see. Oh, this is very impressive. So you use Lua to create this. Um, what, which platform is this? How do you, where do you write the code in? Uh, Roblox Studio. Yes. Roblox Studio. Yes. Ah, so this is interesting. See, uh, one one auntie said I might not be able to do it even in a month. <laughs> Same lah. <laughs> Maybe even in two months for me. <laughs> and this is very impressive, Rudra. And thank you very much for sharing with us. Keep up the good work. We are all very impressed with what you have here.
continue uh, you know continue upskilling yourself I will. Uh, continue okay. being an awesome coder and we hope to that you will see your face again someday right and maybe you will come and join us in Petronas later I will but, I would like to uh, oh thank you very provided, much provided I can also like support my studies and like oh. and like other hobbies but I'm interested I'm interested I see so, so you email yes. me before higher I will go <laughs> All right, great work, Rudra. Thank you very much. And like what we said just now, well done to you and well done to your parents. Congratulations. Okay, now we've come to the final sharing. Uh, let's have Arya. If Arya is with us. Yeah, hello. Hello, Arya. Good morning, okay. everyone. Uh, yeah. Good morning, everyone. I'm Arya. I'm 15 years old. I've been learning uh, Python for, for about seven months properly. Oh, so you learn Python? Yeah. For seven months? Yeah. Okay, this is something similar like this, guys. So better listen, okay? Seven months, Python. <laughs> I typically enjoy uh, coding because it uh, it entertains me when I'm bored and, and uh, it challenges my complex brain. So um, I've learned advanced uh, level of Python coding language and I finished it. Uh, ah. One month ago. How old are you? Kids now? Huh? How old are you? Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Mm. Oh, you you finish advanced level Python in seven uh, months? Yeah, not in like six, but it's like already seven months I have learned. I see, impressive, very impressive. Okay. Yeah. So you just learn um, so you just started learning Python? Yeah. Or do you learn any other coding languages as well? Uh, I'm now I'm not learning because I have a P three, so I need to finish it. Uh, but I, I'm still, uh, I want to learn after I finish my P3. Oh, you have PT3 now. So yeah, like yeah. coding is your extracurricular activity uh, as well as focusing for PT3. Yeah. Oh, you, you are very hardworking. Very impressive. <laughs> so, okay. Can you may proceed? Uh, why do you love coding? And why do you love Python? Why do you choose Python? Python, um, actually I had a, a subject in school name uh, Asas Science Computer. In that, uh, they teach um, Python in Malay, so I don't understand. So I, I joined the embassy and they teach in English, so I understand very clearly and I love Python. Uh, because um, for your information, uh, in Petronas, um, we mostly use Python as well. Like when you want to code in Power App, Power Automation, we use Python, even in our analytics, um, when we do our all our modeling, the coding is um Python, so I think uh, it's a um, good language uh, that you are learning now, and it's also a very useful coding language, lah. Yeah. And anything else you want to share with us, Arya? Uh, yeah, I have a project. I I hope you will like like it. Okay, let's see. Where um, by the way, where are you from? I'm uh, from Seremban. Yes, I'm. I'm um, actually I'm from Seremban too. So Seremban represent. Okay, go ahead, Arya. Okay, uh, so this is the this project is about a stock stock app. Stock app, stock yeah. market. You mean? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. So we will wait. We wait to appear the app. Okay. So which um platform are you using to write the code in to write python I, is it pycharm yeah pycharm ah so at the moment you are sharing you are already sharing your screen area but okay. we couldn't see anything yet yeah, it's um, running the programs oh it's running the program so it might take while to run yeah okay so it's a stock market program yeah so what is it about like if we uh, write the stock stock name, it will appear the current value and the previous value. Mm. And, and also it's a company name, full company name. Oh. Uh, like for example. Okay. If you're Apple, you'll show Apple stock price, is it? Yeah. Okay, and then you press check. So this is how you spell Apple stock price, A-A-P-L. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, someone said, please try PM <laughs> after this. Uh, uh, yeah. Are you using a um, Mac? Yeah. I see. See, don't, you don't support uh, Microsoft uh, apps like that. So, so it's <laughs> a bit hard. Oh. Yeah, someone said no need to use trading view. You can just write your own code, right? And if you are like um, mm. a bit more advanced, you can also write your own uh, analysis. Like, okay. you know, all time low, weekly, weekly, all time high, weekly, all time low, and then you can do your regression. Mm. So can you show us the, like, what's behind this? Behind um, Meaning the coding that, oh, the like, coding. just oh, now, okay. like what Rudra said, right? He, oh. he wrote 400 lines of codes. Oh, and okay. for this one, like, like, where do you start? <laughs> it's a uh, 83. Oh, Ganto Elise. Mm. Ah, so how long does it take for you to do all this? Like, I know you're studying for PT3 as well, right? Yeah, I just um, did this code in two days. Oh, you wrote, you wrote this code in two weeks during mm, your two, spare time? Uh, uh, two days. I already had did this. this uh, <laughs> did this in uh, when I was uh, studying advanced level Python. Ah. This is very interesting. Maybe you we could also, you know, invite you and let uh, let you be our trainer in coding. I know there's a lot of uncles here that are into stock market. So when they list, when they heard that you are doing something stock market, their ears perk up. Oh, stock market. <laughs> so that's why. And one said, I, uh, I, Ira, can you can make your own Ethereum? <laughs> so okay, are you trying? So you write, you just write the stock name, and mm. then, and then how do you do this? You do some uh, what do you call it? Web scraping, right? Yeah. Oh, I think something failed. Something failed to compile lah here, Arya. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. It's okay. Mistake is some is where you learn. Yeah. Because uh, I also have a lot of trouble when compiling. There's a lot of errors like that. But mm. that's why I'm also learning. It's a learning journey. <laughs> I think I add a, a thing. I add the current and previous. I think I had a problem. I see. It's okay. I just, I just add today. Oh, you just add today for yeah. us lah. Mm. It's usually it, that's what happened. Like, it's like Murphy's law. Yeah. <laughs> if we could go wrong, we we'll go wrong. But it's okay. Yeah, we yeah. can see your effort, and we know it's not it's something you know not something that is easy to do. Yeah. And even to have to have your skill up at this level to be able to do web scraping and to write codes is also already very impressive. Thanks. So keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Arya. Okay. Okay, yeah. Like what Uncle said, Uncle Azman said, maybe <laughs> yours beta version. <laughs> so thank you very much. Um, congratulations to you and your parents. Like what I said, you are 15. You are still very young. You can still do a lot more and keep upskilling yourself. Uh, this, you are on the right track. You are on the right path. And yeah. let's, we hope that, you know, we can see you again in the future, Arya. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Well done, Arya. Okay. Okay, guys. So that is, that is uh, my sharing. Uh, the sharing by the three junior coders for, from Embassy Education. Because you know now that software is eating the world, right? By automating all things. And even in, um, you know, in this digital world, it is like a, currently like a fundamental digital literacy. So it's like your coding language is like also another important language for us. It's like English now. So it's, isn't, it's not particularly easy to learn. And that's why it is exactly why it is so valuable. Lah. And this also brings us back to the topic of upskilling and reskilling.
It is never too late and never too early for us to reskill and upskill ourselves. So time to enroll my eight-year-old and my seven-year-old to coding class down lah. And I see um someone asked right, where do these kids learn their coding? So they are all from Embassy Education, which provide online um coding lesson, as you can see from the screen. And uh, their URL is embassy.education, and then you can uh, check there lah. Like if you are interested to enroll in coding school,